What's going on? Shit, what's going on, guys? Redder and Gar Skyrim Battles back at it again with a new one. Stay tuned, more videos are underway. Happy Horror 20, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, what's going on, guys? Redder and Gar Skyrim Battles back at it again with a new, different thing that I'm going to upload, anyways. <laughs> so you think you're tough? So you think your character is high enough to battle one of mine? Well, from the channel, of course, because <laughs> not mine, because I get wrecked. So you want to fight Mirak, right? Um, I, I did. I, 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 no one has said that yet. I'm just messing around with you guys. Don't take it serious. I'm just trolling, right? Uh, so I, I uploaded the Mirak that ESP video and stuff, and I showed you guys his stats and stuff like that. He's not the strongest, but he's not as he's not as weak either. So uh, I did mention I was going to share uh, the Mirak that ESP file because it's one of the one that has the less, as you guys can see it here. Some of the less. Um, uh, what you call it, um, files and stuff, or uh, mods from Skyrim Nexus. So, first of all, you need Skyrim. You, if you guys want to fight them, I'll show you guys. This is a tutorial video how to uh, how to get Mirak and how to fight him or stuff, or how to get the stuff he needs. And I'll show you guys about uh, the BSA files, the, uh, how to turn the ESPs into uh, ESM. And once you master that, or once you get uh, the not master, it, but you guys know about it, uh, the the knowledge to do it. Then you guys could probably fight some other guys like the Ebony Warrior coming soon. If, if you guys might have to get all those, so I'm gonna give you guys the, this this one because it's uh, it doesn't have too many. You know, it has the Skyrim. You have Skyrim, right? Of course, you have Skyrim. Do you have Dawn Guard? You're gonna need it. If you have the Dragonborn DLC, you're gonna need that one too. So that's all the ones you need. You don't need Hearthfire, not for this one. So we're we're all right. You do need Midas Magic. Uh, from Skyrim Nexus, which is the one I'm always using here. Let me move this to the side. This is the one um, Midas Magic Skyrim Nexus. This is the one that I'm always um, Using because it has a lot of good uh, colorful. Uh, I mean it, well Midas Magic of course and colorful magic This is one of the ones that I'm always using because it has a lot of uh, Spells for the NPCs and you know they, they need some good spells that look better that you haven't seen in vanilla so Get this one, the first one, the main file called Midas Magic Evolved version 1.7.1, which is right here. It, it was down, it was made uh, back in 2013, but it's fine. It, it's it's what you're gonna need. So download it. Once the download starts, I'm gonna cancel it because I already downloaded. You have uh, whoa whoa whoa. I'm trying to move this a little bit closer to what that stuck. Ah shit. Okay, so. Anyways, we can still see it. Where's Midas Magic Evolved? Um, right here somewhere? What the fuck? I downloaded it. Midas. Okay. Guys, I'm going to pause this again. One second. Alright, so it looks like I did have it downloaded, but it wasn't... Yo, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Alright. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't shown when I downloaded it. But anyway, so you're going to need Midas Magic. Just download uh, the version that I told you about, this one right here, and then let's move on to the next one. It's Fendrix Magic Evolved. So we're going to have to uh, look for Fendrix, Fendrix Magic Evolved. Um, there we go. Fend I said Fendrix Magic Evolved. There we go. So we go here, find that one, the 5898, and we'll go to the download section of it. And we will get, um, we, first of all, you need this one, the update. That We will install that one after. But get this one right here, the no DLC. It, it says if you don't have Dongard or Dong, uh, Dong, uh, Dragonborn, download that one. But it doesn't matter. You do need them for Mirac. So click on download, wait for it to download, etc., etc. And then you have it. There you go. We'll install them in a bit. I will show you more about how to manage all that. Apocalypse. Uh, we're up with apocalypse um, magic. Let's just uh, apocalypse. Shit, I said apocalypse Skyrim. Um, and then you go to magic of Skyrim, apocalypse magic of Skyrim. And this one, you go to files, and you have to get um, the first one, version 9.35. Uh, it was a, a, a new update. So let's get that one. Don't get the no DLC one because we still need a DLC. The other one was because there were there was no other option. And then you go to Colorful Magic, of course, one of my favorites. Go to Colorful Magic. Whoops. I'm not typing it up here. I'm gonna type it here because I don't want stuff that's not supposed to be shown to show. So there we go. Colorful Magic at Skyrim Nexus. You go to Files, 
and you will get um you will need to get I mean um the dark uh, you just get the dark edition that's the one I got so download the dark edition one which is the first one basically we're just getting the first stuff and then elemental dragons um at Skyrim Nexus elemental dragon Skyrim Nexus um that one's for the shout the apocrypha shout and for s some perks that he needs and stuff so if if you run the mirac.esp file and you don't have these guys it'll crash your game will crash and then you can't run mirac.esp you're gonna have to unselect it so download this one the first one version 1.01 and then that's it once you have all those stuff saved uh let me close all my windows once you have all of them saved, which is Colorful Magic, Fender's Magic, Apocalypse, and Elemental Dragons. Not in that order. You don't need to have them in order. I'm just saying. Then you go here. You go to uh, Google and you look for Rye. Um, Rye Bash uh, Skyrim Nexus. That's what you have to type, dudes. You go to Rye Bash at Skyrim Nexus, which is right here. And download the program. Download um, the installer, the first one. Uh, beta installer so once you get that you look for uh, uh, BSA here we go one second BSA opt Skyrim Nexus that's the one you have to download that's I'll explain to you guys what's the reason for that so download the first one download manually BSA opt and that's it so you have um I know it's getting a little bit confusing, but hey, if you guys want to fight Merrick, that's what you guys need to do. What the fuck? I said, minimize everything. Ah, shit. All right, so I I will close this. Just we'll we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's start with BSA Opt. Uh, some of these programs you might need a seven zip to open them. Some of them are WinRAR files, so you're gonna need WinRAR. Actually, not. You don't need all of them to be. It's a point seven one. So. You don't need WinRAR as long as you get 7.zip, which uh, I think it's free. 7.zip uh, uh, download. Just look for it. 7.7zip.org. Seven, uh, seven and if you're if you're running at 64 bits, download that one. If you're downloading at 32, if you're not sure, just get the 32-bit one. So you download it, and I guess I'm gonna have to reinstall it so you guys can see how it how it goes. Um, here we go opening I'm gonna install it again even though I have it oh shit I'm gonna install this one because I have a 64-bit installed I don't want it to overthrow the other one so anyways they're they're the same type of uh, there's a, it's the same way to install it just install it dudes 7.zip and uh, it says you must restart no because I already have it installed so I'm alright so you guys will might have to restart restart so that means you can now open right click of course right click and go to 7.zip and go to extract files or actually I'm gonna open the archive and then you don't you don't have to extract anything this one I'm just gonna drag it to my desktop it looks like I already have it here so I'm gonna replace it anyways just to show you guys that it, it's, it's it doesn't do anything so there we go BSA and now I could delete this I don't need that and now we're gonna go to this one the installer for right bash so this one you're gonna have to run it as administrator I believe yeah run as administrator and you click yes and then you install it um, leave I leave I left everything alone uh, I don't have these guys anymore so just get it for Skyrim and then just go to next click next again and click install and it should be installing now right bash which is what I have here and that's it should be fine now all right and this data folder is for a creation kit that's something else uh, so it's installed dude so I'll just get rid of that uh, skip what files is st still in use oh no it, it did get rid of it I think did it okay I'm just gonna cancel either way it's installed so I'm just move it here because I don't need it right now then we go to Midas magic we'll go to uh, 7 zip and open archive this is what I do so you have two files, BSA and .esp. You right click here, you go to properties, and you go to open file location, and you go up to data folder. This is for Skyrim, all right guys? Have your shortcut for Skyrim ready. So you go to that BSA, that the, the Midas Magic Expanded BSA, 
and you move it to the data folder all right and then you also do that for uh, that uh, shit shit I'm clicking all right so it says that I already have it I'm gonna replace it because I might have to update it or whatever it doesn't really matter to me if I messed it up I'll just I'll just bring back my backup anyway so go there and then you go to Midas expanded why is it lagging it's lagging a little bit Midas expanded and you drop it in there too and it's not gonna tell you to replace it it's gonna tell me to replace it but I had I had it before and I deleted it so that's it so now you have um, now you have Midas magic evolved now you open the same for all these guys Fendrix Apocalypse and Elemental so one of them is an update so move the uh, feature mod update and let's open this one first um, I think it's still installing the right bash yep I felt it that's why it was dragging a little bit so after it's done downloading which is it's gonna take a little bit of time uh, that's it, it should be fine uh, one second dudes like it is uh, so it's completed um, I'm not gonna launch launch anything so right now I'm just gonna close so right bash is installed so that's it guys so let's go to Fendrix magic evolve first get the uh, completed oh, it's still lagging a little bit all right get this one first the one complete completed clean version so then you go to uh, don't extract open archive um, and now we have uh, our stuff that we're looking for the ESP we only need that Oh, well we need these so that's it so I'm gonna show you what to drag in there and drop um, no perks what no get this one so we'll right click again we'll go to properties why is it lagging what the fuck all right go to data and then you go to uh, grab the scripts and the sound and drop them and then you replace it and you might not need to replace them I need to because I already have them installed I'm reinstalling all this so I can show you guys how to do it and uh, that's it now you go back to your folder oh shit it's lagging bad dudes um, here we go so you get this one Fendrick magic evolved at ESP not the no perks one I don't know what the hell that is and that's it you have Fendrick's magic evolved so you can minimize this one because you're gonna have to install uh, use it again and you go to uh, 7.zip, right click, go to open archive to the other one. So this is an update for some reason. Um, yeah, I said mod update. So just drag both of them in there and just replace it. All right, so it might be a 30 minute video, but anyways, we're fine. I'm showing you guys how to do that. So I'm gonna empty my recycling bin. Uh, I, I already installed both of these, so I'm getting rid of them now. So let's go to Elemental, Elemental Dragons, right click, go to 7-zip and open archive. Then you go to uh, the, your data folder, you keep that minimized, and you go to Elemental Dragons, double click. You're going to need meshes, scripts, sounds, and textures. Grab all of those and drop them into your data folder. And, um, and just wait a bit for it all to install. Actually, let me move this aside. You had to drag that one too and I forgot but I wasn't sure yet but one second this is this is lagging what the hell maybe I should restart my system but no no we're fine we're we're doing it all good um, it's not taking too long anyways what it's just doing is dragging it's lagging my uh, my cursor for some reason and um, and that's it so then you okay whoop, whoops it's gonna ask me to replace them I guess Yep, replace them all. I don't think inter I don't think it interferes with your mods, but just in case, go to the description of those. Uh, of those, um, it shouldn't. It's just for uh, spells. All right, elemental dragons. What? What the hell? All right. Then you go to uh, why is this one? All right, there we go. It was just loading. So you grab the elemental dragons ESP and you drop it in there too. It's gonna replace the previous one, I believe, or it didn't. Okay, it didn't, so that's fine. Uh, we'll check on that in a bit. So minimize that again, get rid of this one, and then open this one, right click, go to 7-zip, open archive, then you go to uh, data, 
you open this one again and you drag both of them BSA and the dot ESP that's it it's all Midas what's that Midas or a ap apocalypse yeah apocalypse replace everything and that's it all right there we go so now we get rid of it we go here and we go to 7-zip open archive same thing dudes go to Mirac because we're gonna have to double check some stuff really quick and we're gonna start at Midas so let me move this to the side uh, where's the uh, this one right here so colorful magic everything dudes just drag and drop everything to data and that's the uh, message script sounds textures that's for the uh, for their NPCs that colorful magic brings in some of them have new stuff message scripts and all that stuff so you can tell that it also brings in armor and some of the guys like um, Kitoon, I believe that's also Ninja, that's also an NPC, Oily Dragon, which is probably the one that um, the Dark Dovahkiin is using, and <laughs> the Tar Dragon, uh, Stratus, I think it's his name, and you have some uh, probably, um, I was going to say, uh, what's the name of that person, Umbra? And it's probably in there too. Could be Midas Magic or Colorful Magic. Either way, that's why it's taking just a little bit longer. Because it, it has a lot of uh, new NPCs and new spells. Magic 03, those are spell and, uh, spells. How they look. The Volcano and all that. Magic Strike. Um, cheese Drop, I guess. Miscellaneous, yeah. Potato, that's one of the NPCs as well. But Magic 03, those are meshes. Yeah, this stuff, dudes, I've been watching. I've been into the creation kit for a long time I've gone in there to hell and back with the creation kit one of the one of the spells uh, it's gonna take a while so I might as just explain one of the spells and ESPs and the NPCs that I created that has not been recreated again and I keep saving it well it's two of them it's because of the way they look it's uh I was gonna say first the spell where uh what's the name of the horse for the uh, the, the, the the dark brotherhood um, Shadowmere the way uh, Lucian like shines uh, summons it and the spell that is it comes from colorful magic I think I'm not sure from where it comes or from vanilla but I did it in the creation kit and I haven't been able to redo it again I, I can't remember how I did it it was really weird the way I did it uh, was how it spawns from the uh, from the from the ground and stuff and it, it brings in the spell from vanilla, of course, from the script, how it comes out of the uh, the, uh, the tar or the oil or whatever. That one I've, I haven't been able to redo with any other NPC, but I kept it unique for Shadowmere. So only Lucian Le Le Chance that ESP has it. And the other one is um, my favorite, Almalexia, of course, my favorite NPC girl before all the other ones, like Ren and all the other ones. Almalexia, because of the way she looks, I've never been able to recreate that again and that file I have it saved like in 10 different locations in all my three different hard drives in case I ever lose uh, Almalexia I have her like saved like in three different spots or seven or ten of them just in case because it's unique the way she looks the way I created her so yeah those two but yeah I've been to uh, in the creation kit I've been to hell and back and don't judge me I had time to work on this years so yes all right let's go replace the files and um, what else that's it just wait for it to replace and what time is it here six minutes I'm just gonna pause this and start it again one second all right and here we go guys so I said I was gonna pause and continue I am so um, just replace everything from the uh, dark side edition of uh, I believe this is colorful magic yep one of my favorites and then Midas magic then Fendrix, Apocalypse, and there's an extra one, guys, I haven't told you guys about, but not all the NPCs use it. It's something like SK something, or SP, I'm not sure. Um, maybe I'll just go to 05, and I will tell you guys which one it is. This one right here, is, I think it's called Special, Special <laughs> Apocalypse Person, but okay, I, I'm just messing 
with you guys. It, it has a name. It's a spell. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a mod, uh, spell mod, but I don't know. Um, oh my god, this one's still. Alright, let's Google it, I guess. Let's, let's look for it while this uploads and stuff, so. I will tell you guys the, uh, like the seventh or fifth different one that you guys haven't seen, but I'm explaining to you guys now. You go to the object window, I think. Object, file, uh, view, object window. Yeah, that's what I closed. No, it's not that one, I'm sorry, it's the data. Shit, what the fuck. Uh, go to 05. It's called SS. What? Uh, we don't even need to Google it. This one will tell us right here. Ah, shit. Uh, SS. SSP. SSSP. Alright, it's probably here. SSP. 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 Okay. Guys, I'm just waiting for that thing to load. And I'll tell you guys the name. SSAP. Okay. S. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, SSA. Dudes. I'm super lost as well. Alright, it's called uh, Skyrim Spells and Powers by Warrior Kek. 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 So, yeah, it's someone, someone made that one. And that one was used first for um, uh, Jagar. Jagar Tarn. Darn. Uh, the, the reason is because it has a unique uh, uh, cloak that used to send everyone flying. So, that's why I used it first. So, I might give you guys this one next because it only needs one, two. He needs the Nainheim race, of course, and that's it. You only need three mods for him to fight Yagar Tarn. So, maybe I should have just done him instead of Mirak. But if you guys want to fight Mirak, which is one of the more popular ones, I will let you guys fight Mirak. And you guys will have the Mirak ESP, and that's the most updated recently, which is on 414. We're at 421. So, yes, he got upgraded with uh, his. Uh, magic I think so yeah well last modified no I actually modified it more recently but I don't know why he's saying that anyways we're at 91 percent let's minimize everything and let's go here okay cancel this minimize and then go up here which is we're dropping it come on I said we're dropping it there <laughs> all right guys it's almost done we're dropping it at the data folder anyways so yeah 99 percent and it's almost there all right so we're here it didn't say to replace anything did it it should tell me to replace it um what the hell all right and that's it so i'm gonna quit and what the hell happened dudes this is starting to scare me colorful hopefully i don't have two no i don't Oh, it didn't ask me to replace it because I turned it into ESM and I got rid of this one. So, this one's a more uh, recent. So, excuse me, guys. So, we are here. We are in our final steps. So, now you go to, uh, now you go to run as an administrator. And, um, for right bash, of course. What do you want to back up? Okay, say yes, I guess, before they are overwritten. No idea what the hell happened, dudes. Yes, yes, back up everything somewhere. Yes, thank you. All right, so we're going in there. It backed up all my uh, information, I guess, and I could delete all this. And we are here. We're going to have to go individually, dudes, and I will tell you, uh, we'll follow this one. The uh, Mirac one. Here we go. And this is why Mirac can't just be shared and stuff because it needs all these mods to run. You understand now, guys, right? Right, right, right. I can't believe Mirac's gonna be the first one that you guys are gonna be able to use and fight against. I mean, and yes, a lot of people say, um, okay, a lot of people were saying. I can beat him. We'll see if you can beat Mirak. And there's a special trick that Mirak has that you guys don't know. You guys are going to be ragdolled. And you guys, yeah, I'll fight him from far away. Or I'll fight him from close up. Hey, we'll see if you can take him on, I guess. Alright, so we're, gonna, we're, we're going to Midas Magic. If you can't find it, you scroll all the way to the top. You click on Skyrim. Well, you click on the first one, whatever. So, and you just type Mirak. I mean, uh... Midas, Midas, whoops, I typed me right, Midas, there we go, so Mag Midas Magic Expanded, you should have it, you shouldn't have any of all, all these over here, 
unless you work with mods but go to that one right click and then copy to ESM and then since I already have it I'm just gonna replace it that's it Midas is done ready you have a ESM file for him now you go to Fendrix type in Fendrix guys and then you find your ESP right click on it and go copy to ESM yes that's it have it ready now go to apocalypse type in apocalypse you have the ESM whoops I'm looking for the other one because I, I'm gonna update them too as well apocalypse that ESP the spell package right click go to copy that ESM and I'm gonna replace my older one go to colorful magic it shouldn't affect anything with my NPCs all it's gonna do the, the mod authors do they just add extra spells which I can use later for other NPCs like uh, the, the the Wolf Queen and uh, Shadow Door. Okay, guys, I've been teasing too much. Or I knew or Pat me. All right, okay, whatever. Hey, you never know, guys. I'm just talking, but you never know. You know me. I always surprise. Okay, copy to ESM. Yes, yes. I always surprise girls too. When my small with my small P. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Go to Elemental Dragons and <laughs> just go to right click. Cause I knew someone was thinking that, so I just said it before they said it. All right, copy to SM your Elemental Dragons at ESP. I said P, right? Okay. Anyways, dude, why are we getting out of hand with this? Let's just go. Get this out of the way. So all of them are converted into ESMs, but there's a catch. Now you can close uh, right bash. There's a catch. By catch, I mean this. I have an out folder. Remember that that BSA thing. Now you're gonna have to run that too. You go to run as administrator and you click yes. So basically, what you're gonna have to do is go and find into um, what, what's this called? Uh, the data folder one. Go to um, computer local C. And let me pause right here. All right, so yes, uh, what I was trying to find was this one. So you go to local, you go to program files, and then you look for the uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, and then you go to uh, data folder. We're looking for BSA files, which is uh, which is Colorful Magic. Okay, this one will tell us where what, what to look for first. Not all of them have it, remember that. It was only some, some uh, spells, so we're going to look for Midas Magic. See if Midas Magic has it. So we'll type Midas. Midas, Midas Magic does have a BSA. So you're going to have to select that one then first. We're going to start with Midas Magic. And now you have it already. Now, this is what I did. I just made one called out because I didn't make it. This made it. BSA made a folder called out into your desktop. And I use, I click use this folder. So now it's going to uh, uncompress uh, the BSA file uh, folder um, file, and now go here, and I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna send it here to out. So then you unpack it. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna unpack everything. Once you have that, um, okay, we don't need this right now. It got unpacked. You go to the your data folder again, um, which is here, and now you go to out. And you're gonna have to drag everything in there, dudes. You see it? That's what you do to unpack the BSA files, and then you go to replace files. I know a lot of people are going to understand it, but a lot of people are not. But you need to do this, dudes, to have that run, to be able to run. And it doesn't affect anything. All it does is just unpacking the BSA file, which you already have in case you have that uh, spell package. So, alright, so now I go here. And I delete everything from the out folder because we don't we don't want it to to uh, well it's going to do it anyways here but we don't want it to merge with other stuff which is not really but you don't want to keep dragging the same stuff over into your data folder so just delete it and keep your out folder empty and I'm just gonna empty my recycling bin force of habit and then I'll I'll close now we go back and I'll well now I'll I'll show you guys which one it is. Now we, we're going to look for Fendrix magic. So you open up your um, BSA thing again, go to browse. We're already in the data folder and I'm just going to type uh, Fendrix. Fendrix does have one, so I'm going to click on BSA and this is what it's going to do. It's going to open it. It only has scripts, so I'm going to unpack it, and that's it. Fendrix only had scripts and I'm just going to drag and drop it into the data folder of Skyrim. So that's it. Replace everything. Now the next one, okay, now you're going to have to clear your out folder, and that's it, and close it, and I'm going to close this, I always close it for some reason, so go to Apocalypse now, 
open it again and go and type apocalypse apocalypse does have one it's probably gonna be huge huge like Donald Trump said so open it up and now you have your BSA and it has meshes it has texture so now we're gonna unpack it and it's gonna unpack into out if you guys are wondering what this is I opened it from here from my shortcut go to properties go to open location and then go to data folder and just click on it don't do anything else wait for this to open to extract unpack I mean or extract whatever and the where I was looking for yesterday was called cap when something kept somewhere but I don't know if I uploaded that video so let's let's go let's just go here then you go to out and you go to meshes scripts and textures you drag and drop everything there oh it's gonna probably end up being a 45 minute tutorial video why not what's in Merak like 30 minutes 39 or something replace the files and once you do yep once everything's copied into your data folder, we'll delete it from out. But we, we, we have to wait. Okay, out is done. Delete it. And I'm going to close. You don't have to close. You can kind of just go to browse and go to the next one, which is Colorful Magic. Oops, I said Colorful. Oh, Colorful. What? Colors? Not colors. Uh, you could manually look for it, but I'm just going to type uh, color. Uh, ah, shit. Yes, just look for it. <laughs> Colorful Magic. Um, it doesn't have one. Maybe that's the reason. Colorful Magic doesn't have a BSA file. That's that's preposterous. I don't I don't believe it, dudes. It does have one. It it doesn't. Oh, they were all extracted. I'm sorry. That's why we were getting all those. Uh, well, that's why it took a while because it was already extracted. So if it doesn't have it, it doesn't have it. They were all extracted, which is better. This it just means that the mod out there didn't package it into a BSA file, which is much better. Because when you're in the creation kit and you don't have the BSA file extracted, and you're working with the uh, spells, it won't show them, and then sometimes it'll crash. So, anyways, let's go to Elemental Dragons. Elemental Dragons does have it. Nope, it doesn't either. Um, okay, so then just close, and I'm gonna open again because, like I said, sometimes. It might be glitch or whatever so I'm gonna type colorful nope and elemental so they don't have it it's fine so let's just get out of here then so that's it everything's ready to go dudes all you guys need now is the mirac.esp file so I'll find a, a, per, a place to have it uh, there these files are not even uh, let's go here and I'll tell you how how these are just plugins that's what a uh, ESP means uh, ES plugin uh, Elzer Scrolls, I guess, plugin. That's all it is. So it's only 38 kilobit, kilobytes. So I might find a place to upload it. It'll probably be my like really, really, really old Angel Fire account, but I think they deleted it because it was from 2002. And that's it. That's all you need. I will give you guys the link in the video on the description, and I'll give it into the the actual video at the bottom, in the comment section. I'll be like. Click on the Mirac.esp and just download it. I used to share it with someone. I can't remember who it was. Was it Mirac? Dory Dobakin, the guy from uh, from the channel. Did I used to share uh, ESP files with you before we knew about this stuff? Or was it someone else? Before we knew about that, we only had Skyrim, Donga, or Dragonborn, and Mirac used to work on everything. It was back in the days with the Daedric Princess. They were not, or the Divines and stuff, they were not, uh, they were not modded. They were used. They were modded, but with the spells and stats from Skyrim and Dragonborn and Dawnguard or whatever Dawnguard and Dragonborn. But um, one day, Colorful Magic and I, I found out how to do the stuff that I'm showing you guys now, and that's what ended up uh, causing the uh, first the, uh, the Daedric Princess to become really more powerful because they ended, or the Divines, they ended up with uh, magic spells better magic spells and the daedric princess ended up staying with um stats from and spells from like namira used to throw spider stuff and you know if we everything was from vanilla anyway so i'm getting the hell out of here guys i'm gonna upload this and stay tuned um 
and hopefully you guys uh, if you guys record I have like three more minutes so I'll talk really quick hopefully you guys can record yourselves fighting Mirak and show me like yeah I was able to be beat Mirak and show me your builds and what type of enchantment you guys have are you guys level 80 or you guys level 150 by now you guys are probably like level 300 or 400 maybe you guys can beat Mirak and show me how you beat them beat them maybe I'll you guys will upload it to your channel and then I'll just link it and I'll give you guys a link or I or you know what I'm saying or I'll just upload it to my channel and give you guys the link I don't know you guys will share it with me if you guys want if not just take pictures and be like yeah I did kill him somehow not using console commands don't use console command guys come on fight Mirac one on one and yes he's the same Mirac that I show you guys in the in the in the file but it's he, I haven't changed anything but like I said you guys didn't know that he has uh, remember that I said the cloak thing the special cloak and you guys are like what is that that's when he spawned he has that explosion that looks like uh, apocrypha or whatever it's like blue and bluish and like goldish anyways he can drag all you guys and if you guys oh can he he can or can't yes he can because his ESP file has no knockdowns for the Ninheim race where the hell's the Ninheim race oh no okay 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 I got it, I get it he has his own race. It's called the Mirac race, which someone was the Mirac Dory guy was saying that um you can't rack. Oh, he has a he has a different face face because he has a different race. Yes, he does have a different race, but the Nord race can be ragdoll. So you guys are gonna get ragdoll. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting the hell out of here. And you guys are gonna get staggered, and he can't get staggered, or can he? No, he can't. You can. <laughs> Let's see you guys around, guys. See, you see if you guys can beat Merrick. And he's one of the easiest, I think. I don't know. I'm just talking shit. Anyways, stick around. More videos are underway. Yes, the factions tournament thing is continuing, and it might be after this. But I'll see how it all goes. Maybe I'll delay it a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an eye out, out on the views. So if we need it, we'll use it. If not, we'll, we'll keep an eye. Oh look, speaking of Dush Nick Xiao. They're, they're gonna end the blades. Oh shit, look at them. They're coming up, dudes. It's, it's a sign. Stick around. I mean, well, stick around. Stay tuned. S don't forget to subscribe, and more videos are underway. Fus for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I know I said, okay, I'll see you guys, um, and don't forget to subscribe, whatever. But uh, this one's recorded a lot late. As you can see, it's 5.53 over here. The reason I'm adding this to the, um, oh, and I played, CS I played a little bit of uh, ESO online so expect that video to come up as well and the Dushnik Xiao and stuff I know because they're all gonna come I'm not gonna make you guys wait anymore uh, I forgot to uh, include this guys that you guys have to um, okay let, let me start off by I mean let me let me slow it <laughs> slow it down all right so we're talking about um, that I forgot stuff to add to this video that's that's that you're watching so you got to go to your uh, pre, uh, your Elder Scrolls game the shortcut and go to the data files I'm not sure if you guys know how to enable the data file I don't know I mean I do kinda know but just go to the um, to Google and type in uh, load multiple masters or the data file options go to data files and uh, ignore the stuff that I have upload uh, uh, I have on right now that's for the game we're playing right now like I said um, uh, it doesn't matter right now at the moment uh, and her name is uh, Hel Elena, Helena, Helena, whatever. So, okay, for Mirac, you need to turn those on, and I'm gonna show you which which uh, you don't need them to. You don't need to have them in order, and I'm gonna keep them after the Dushnish out thing, cause then I'm gonna turn them off. So when I play less play, I don't get interrupted by those colorful magic guys things. So it's Midas Magic is the first one. So let's go and find Magic Midas Magic. Uh, where the hell is it? Uh, Midas, Midas, Magic, uh, the ESM guy, don't, guys, don't turn, and girls, don't turn on the ESP, it's the ESM, uh, ESM is the same as the ESP, but it, it, it allows the, uh, NPC, like Mirac, to, uh, uh, to access the spells that Mirac needs from this, uh, mod, I mean, from this, uh, yeah, spell mod, alright, so, Midas Magic, you can put OK if you want, it'll, it'll just send it right back, uh, to the, to the next level, right here, to the next, uh, part, so then, go to Fendrix Magic, let's, let's get this over with, let's go to Fendrix Magic Evolved, let's look for the next one, which is Apocalypse, so we'll go up to A, y here you can't type A and Apocalypse or anything, and we'll look for it, it won't, you have to manually look for it manually all right so you get the ESM make sure it's the ESM 
Because if you you don't have the if you have DSP but not DSM, the game will crash because Mirai needs the master his master file, which is these right here. Parent masters, that's what it's called. Parent master files. Uh, so then the next one's Colorful Magic, one of my favorites, like I said. Uh, all of them are my favorite, all six or seven of them. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like I have so many kids. All right, Colorful Magic and their uh, Elemental Dragons. All right, I'll stop. I'm trolling too much again, right? I'm, I'm, I'm happy, dudes. I'm happy that everyone's happy. That, let's just put it that way. Elemental Dragons. So we put OK, and last but not least, we need Mirak. The one, the file that I'm going to send to you guys. I'm going to find a, a place to, for you guys to, do, to download from, download it from. Uh, and that's it. Press OK. So then you go to data files. You don't have, you don't have to have them in order, but I always move Mirak all the way at the beginning, at the end. I mean, and then you have all his files on. Plus Skyrim, Dawnguard. There's no Skyrim. It doesn't exist here. It is already on, anyways, but it just doesn't show it here. Dawnguard, Dragonborn. And the other ones that I show you how to download them, extract them, and now you put OK, and then you press play, and you should be able to. Um, do you guys want to see? I guess yeah. I'll see how you guys can spawn them. I forgot. So okay, you can close this stuff, creation kit, and I'll see you guys in like 10 seconds while I upload. I wait while I go in game and you and get Mirac uh, spawn so you could fight them. Let's put. But anyways, what I was trying to say, guys, this concludes the section of uh, Redoran uh, notes or Redoran uh, stuff. There's not a lot of new notes, as you guys can tell. But we're going to get on with this. Uh, let's play Skyrim. The, uh, the weather looks nice to go into a battle, into a match. And it'll be shorter. I won't make it two and a half hours. I made it two and a half, a half hours because we needed a lot of time to catch up. So instead, I'll just do uh, Let's Play. Uh, Skyrim this part and then um, and then we'll release today to today at night we'll finally release the uh, the uh, blaze versus the, the snish yeah or whatever and yes I discovered that location yesterday as I was running around um, here we go I had to go here and I'll explain to you what that mod is and I discovered it so the blaze versus dush Nick Yao will be um, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Will be released. So stay tuned. More videos on the way. And don't forget to subscribe. I know, I know, guys. I'm sorry. I, I know I said that uh, we were done and like you know, see you guys later or stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. But I realized that I am missing a couple more steps. So this video is going to be a little bit longer than I thought. You guys need to know how to spawn Mirac. When you guys get Mirac and you guys complete all those steps, like I said, make some videos, take some pictures of him. His name is Morto. You know what? I'm sorry, guys. I might have given you um, a little bit more than Mirac. I might have given you a couple more extra NPCs in there. We'll we'll, we'll take a look. Um, we'll call it. We'll keep it at Morto, even though if you guys request, I can change his name for you guys instead of um, Morto. Uh, just Mirac. But no, it's we'll keep it that way. It's a it's a unique thing for Skyrim, for from Skyrim, from Redoran, whatever, from the channel, from Skyrim Battles. It's a unique thing, you know, it was added in 2013 because I didn't want to confuse them with the regular guys, with the Mirac, the regular one, Vanilla. So, you know, stuff like that happened. So, what the fuck, get in, stop, start loading, what the fuck? <laughs> Why does it take so long to load? All right, I'm going to pause this and continue when it's loaded. And here we go. So, this is where I paused earlier. Remember I said, oh, it's a nice day to have a battle. So, yeah, it's from the other video. So to show you guys I mean business and how everything is connected we're gonna travel to Dushnishyao or whatever the name is Dushnishyao uh, I forgot who said the name or, uh, the other day um, I was playing uh, one of the followers said the correct name or one of the persons in there said this is Dushnishyao you don't belong here outsider it could have been the orcs themselves but I heard it I was like oh that's how you pronounced it and I pronounced it in game but I forgot to how it was pronounced. Come on, dude, this is a tutorial. I'm sorry, guys, for making you wait. One second. Uh, here we go. So, we're going to do TF. Back away, back away. We're going to make this daylight to show you guys I mean business. Okay, I'm going to save. Come on, what the fuck is stuck again? I just deleted all the older files. Um, there's something wrong. All right, here we go. Oh, whoops. All right. So, for now, I'm just going to. Oops, TGM. I'm going to kill all. Kill, oh, I'm sorry, dudes. So, um, I'm gonna warn you guys. I want you guys to do this first. Type T A I T C A I T 
TD. Okay, you guys know how to go into the into the uh, console commands. It, it, if you guys do know, you guys know you gotta hit this button. Um, shit, I can't type it in. Oh, cause I'm hitting it. Uh, just search on Google how to go into console commands. So you just hit that button. Type TAI. Make sure that it's off. If you don't know if it's on or off, type it in again and press enter. TAI. Make sure it's off. TCAI. Make sure it's off. And T detect. Press enter and make sure it's off. For now, you can put TGM if you want. Toggle. Okay, keep it on if you want. But I'm gonna keep it off because everything's gonna be paused anyways. So we're gonna spawn Mirac. This is how you spawn Mirac. You type in um, the same console and you put uh, help. I'm just gonna type mortal. That's it. Oh, you guys are gonna get the Colossus. You guys can fight the Colossus if you want, dudes. Holy shit, that's a bonus. I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna keep it in there, guys. Why? Why would I delete it? I'm not. I'm not a bad person. I'm. I'm going to give you guys Colossus too. If you guys wanna fight him, either way, if you spawn the good one or the bad one, you're still gonna get wrecked because you're not in their faction. So you have uh, the Colossus there, or you have Mirac. Or you're going to get, oh no, no, that's it. You're only going to get me. <laughs> the other guys are from uh, Dushnik Xiao. That, that's from a different ESP. Uh, actually, I could give you guys that ESP if you guys want, but it doesn't make any sense for me to give you a ESP for only vanilla stuff. We want this guy. We want Mirak, the boss. The boss. The, uh, the guy that controlled Apocrypha for so many years. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're going to spawn Mirak, the bad guy. So it's. 509 AOB Ah shit what the fuck I can't see what 095 I'm sorry 69 what Six. <laughs> I'm sorry 695 AC there we go so we have bad Mirac and bad Colossus the Colossus DF and Mirac DF so you want to fight them I mean you want to fight one of them uh, if you're you know what what level am I level 10 um, am I uh, what, how do I check tab yeah level 10 and then this is how you start them off dude okay right now I'm gonna turn off God mode off this is how you start them off and like I said when you start them off be ready to fight them dudes you type or one I, you're just gonna fight Mirac if you want or Colossus or both at the same time but I'm feeling brave right now I want them to rake me psych <laughs> I want them to wreck me that's what I meant to say TAI TCAI TD tech press on make sure that all of them on press enter Whoops, I mean, just get out of there and you're fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> if I can't survive, oh shit, I can't survive oh, oh, mostly anyone for colorful magic. I'm not going to survive these guys. Look at that. I already got hit with, um, <laughs> I already, I already got hit with, um, with the meteor and it already took almost all my health. Oh shit, I'm trapped. Who's fighting me? Oh fuck. I just got wrecked by the cyclone of the of the um what you call him of the colossus so anyways guys that's it that's all you have to do stay tuned <laughs> oh shit stay tuned more videos are underway hold on i said i meant business oh yeah after this after this is done since i type kill all uh and i saw someone spawn over there for some reason okay they all died i am going to uh i'm going to make those snakes y'all fight the blades the blades are going to come from over there from you know from over there you see it where the arrow's at? They're gonna come from there, and Dushin Xiao is all going to be spawned here. So stick around, dudes. After you see this video, you're gonna get that uh, new factions tournament thing. Don't forget to subscribe.